guys, welcome back to another episode of Chef Chris Cooks. On today's episode, we're making cheesy rolled meat. Stay tuned. Cheesy rolled meat is kind of like cordon bleu, but it's Chef Chris's version of it. Let's get started. As always, we're going to get started off by setting the oven to 350. And then we're going to just start that and we're going to let it preheat. Oh, timber, bro. We just had our first fall. We're looking good, though, bro. Ingredients include chicken cutlets, ham, cheese. You're going to start with grabbing a pan and laying it, laying some aluminum foil on top, and just spray the, spray the pan lightly with some non-stick spray. You're going to grab some of your chicken. Bam. Then after you have the chicken all laid out like that, you're gonna grab a piece or two of ham and you're gonna lay it over it in like, like a nice blanket. <sighs> Gotta keep it warm. Then grab another piece of ham, lay it right on top of it like a blanket. And I think we're gonna do two pieces of ham just because. We have a lot of ham right now. Chef Chris has a lot of ham in stock. You're gonna, of course, put the ham back into the bag, seal it airtight so no germs or bacteria gets in there. And then you're gonna grab some cheese. Today, we have the finest cheese from Switzerland. It's some um, garlic and herb cheese made finely high up in the mountains of the Alps. Thinly sliced, ultra thin. And you're just gonna lay a piece of cheese on top. I'm not the biggest fan of cheese, so I'm gonna do one cheese. It looks like assistant Alexis would also like to have some cheesy meat rolled up. So I'll make her one too. You just wanna slide it over a little bit. So now what you want to do is you wanna grab it and you wanna roll it up nice and pretty tight. And then you would want to stab it with a toothpick, but Chef does not have no toothpicks. So he's gonna, I don't know, we're gonna just, we're gonna hold it right there for one second. Hopefully it stays safe for a second. Then again with the other one, you want to just roll it up. Where are Chef's toothpicks when he needs them? We will see what's gonna happen. So, Chef Chris is all about improvising, and since we can't find any toothpicks, we're doing open face, cheesy rolled meat. So it's gonna be cheesy flat meat now, okay? The oven's all preheated, so we're just gonna put it in there for about 12 minutes. I'm like a witch stirring up a mixture. Evil potion, frog legs, add some water and some one-legged spice. Quack pop. <laughs> Don't make me do it. <laughs> that beautiful sound means that the chicken should be done. Oh, I need the gloves. There's one. Where's the one thing though? The one thing is the good, there it is. Let's go check on a um, our cheesy rolled meats. Ooh. A little cheese overflow, but you know, that's okay. That's looking really good. You now I'm just gonna let it chill in there. I'm gonna turn off the heat on the oven, and I'm just gonna let it chill in there for like two more minutes or so, just so it can get a little more crispy and a little more well done. And our pasta should be done in about three minutes. So we'll take out the chicken and then we'll drain the pasta and we'll get a taste test for you guys. We got my sister eating her bit. Well, obviously the pasta's good, but the real question is the chicken, what do you say? Look at the camera. Mm, it's so good. Is it actually, you like it? Mm -hmm. Is it good? Yeah. 
it done. On the pasta, we were going to have Alfredo sauce with some bacon in it, a little cheese, making it really cheesy. But no Alfredo sauce. And I don't have the ingredients to make homemade Alfredo sauce. But you now Chef Chris does what he what he has to do. Would you suggest this recipe to someone? Oh, yeah. Super good. Do you actually like it? I do. Okay. If you guys don't know how to make pasta, check out the other episodes. I make, I show you how to make pasta in them. But thank you guys for watching this episode of Chef Chris Cooks. Let me know what you guys want to see for the next episode. As always, I am not responsible. If you get hurt while cooking, cook at your own risk. Let me know how you like this recipe. More things you want me to make, leave them down in the comments below. And Chef Chris, out. <laughs>